Now that we have our cell created and properly constrained, we need to identify which parts of the cell are seen in different view orientations. This is known as named presentation. Then we need to identify the perforator and add some additional placement points. Let's switch over to the content ribbon and select the named presentation tool. In the dialog, you can see that various standard views are listed. Model indicates any type of view with a camera or any standard isometric view. The rest are the standard top, bottom, left, right, front, and back views. What we will do is to indicate which elements should be visible in each view. For this sync, we will want the 2D symbology visible in the top and bottom views and the 3D model visible in all other views. Let's start by selecting the elements that are the 3D model. One simple way to do this is to use the selection tool and expand it so that you can select elements based on their color. Select all the elements with color zero. Once selected, select the modify tab on the dialog. In the pop-up, select the views where you want these elements to display. Model. Left, right. And front, back. Then select all the green elements to select all the 2D symbology. Again, select Modify, and this time just select the top bottom views. That sets up the named presentation. Now we can move to the Perforators tab. Select the Add button to add a perforator. Note that the Hide Perforator After Placement option is checked on. This hides the perforator after the cell is placed in the model. Now we simply select the perforator solid created earlier. Next, we will select the tab for placement points. By default, there will be a placement point at the origin of the cell, but we can add additional placement points linked to the geometry of the cell as needed. For instance, we could add placement points at each side of the sink at the plane of the counter. Select the Add button. Note the different placement options in the dialog. These determine how the point updates with the cell. Select the first option, which associates the point with an object in the cell. Place the first placement point on the left corner of the bottom surface of the sink edge. Then at the center. And then at the right. Now the cell is complete and it could be placed in any model using the Place Cell tool. However, if you want to add data to the cell so that it can be placed as an object and scheduled, you will need to add it to the data group system. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.